You guys, I'm back. But first, let me let you in on something you missed out on during this little break that I was taking. Um, I was in a situation where I was trying to help a family member. And it kind of backfired on me. And it caused me a lot of stress to the point where I had tingling up my legs, up my thighs, on my arms. And by the time it was time for me to get, go to sleep and get some rest, there was so much pain in my leg that I could not sleep all night long. So the next morning I get up and I go to the hospital. Not the regular hospital, but like a 24-hour care facility or whatever. Um... And I go there and I end up getting a shot, which I was in so much pain. I really didn't care what it was, just to be honest. And come to find out, it was an anxiety shot. So after I got this shot, the doctor came in and talked to me and was telling me how all of this had occurred because of high stress. So he prescribed some anxiety medicine and I believe some type of depression medicine but I'm not taking that because that was like a situation that happened once and I'm not going to be on medicine forever because of stress that I'm no longer dealing with but I do want you guys to know that after I did a little research this is more common than most people even know anxiety and depression so i really just want you guys to know that you're not in this alone you're not by yourself you're not the only one going through it and you can get through it but sometimes it doesn't take medication sometimes it may just take you removing what's causing you the stress because the medicine that's not going to remove the stress from you so I just want to encourage you guys today, just try to stay stress-free, Is I mean, within what you can control, of course, and like we're in this together, <laughs> stay blessed.